Hello everyone, welcome to EPM Cloud Planning Tech Tips. My name is Vatsal Gaukar and I'm an Enterprise Planning Product Manager at Aletia. Today's video is going to be about a hack in Oracle EPM Cloud Planning that enables the planners to override security while pushing data between plan types. I'm calling this hack the Smart Push Security Override Hack. Let's first define how you would push data between plan types in an EPM cloud planning application. A data form or a smart view template of a data form can push data from source to target plan types using an underlying data map in an EPM cloud planning application. Smart push allows to use the underlying data map and push a defined scope from the data form. It could simply be pushing change intersections or everything under the form or some other form of override that is defined in the smart push on the form. There are smart push requirements across industries and in some of our implementations where the data being pushed from the source to target is between separate intersections and in that the user might not have access to the target they wish to push data to. Some use cases are intercompany transfer, that is pushing source materials and dollars to a target the user does not have access to. Data form might have multiple scenarios and the user would like to push data for all scenarios but the user only has access to a subset of scenarios. To overcome this security governance, that is again, should there be a need in an implementation, the simple answer is that the underlying data map needs to be run as an admin. Let's look at a use case where we have deployed a hack like this. In higher education implementations, we see a need for a labor cost distribution model an employee has a domicile department and is distributed to other departments. Let's call domicile the home department and the distribution departments as GL departments. A user in home department gets to allocate the domicile or the home department employee to other GL departments. The department allocation is carried out using a smartless dropdown on the form that smart list is using flex dimensions, which is a smart list created from a dimension. In this case, using an entity dimension. But this home department of 100-30,000 only has access to that one department, all right? Or this user in 100-30,000 has access to only that department. This can be confirmed by the dropdown of the smart list which will only show the smart list ID of the member that the user has access to. In this case, 100-30,000. To get around this issue, a simple right-click business rule can be written to override this kind of smart list assignment, all right? The issue arises when the user wants to change other data in the form and hit the save button, which invokes the smart push to push data from this 100-30,000, and this is the department that user only has access to, to say another department 080-23,000. So how do we circumvent this security? Because the user does not have access to 080-23,000. I mentioned earlier that we need to devise a mechanism that will run the underlying data map as an administrator. So now let's go look at the hack of how a planner or a user in the system can run the underlying data map as an administrator. In step one of this hack, what we'll do is collect the intersections where the change is happening. And we'll do that using a Groovy script that is the intersection of the, that is collecting the intersection of the changing employee and job codes in the home department form. A simple data cell iterator method shown will give you the change employees on the data form. If there are no change employees, the rule will just stop executing. If employees were changed, then an employee string variable will be populated after the end of step one. In step two of the hack, using a previously named EPM connection, namely run local planning jobs, we'll make a REST API invocation of another business rule. So business rule calling another business rule. 
The run local planning jobs REST API connection definition is defined using an admin ID and password. So when we call the rule or from this other rule in step two is run as an administrator. The rule will be learned only for change employees which are passed on using the employee string variable that we created in step one. Finally, the admin rule or the rule that is being run by called from step two is another groovy rule that accepts the employee string and runs the underlying data map only for the changed employees. What we accomplished in this hack is the ability for the planner to use REST API invocation to run other planning artifacts, but as an admin. This is very specific use case when this kind of hack is needed as one shown in the example today. For more questions, please write to us at infosolutions at alithia.com. You can follow us on Twitter at alithia underscore inc. As usual, thanks for being a great audience.